Hello, hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mbuisalo Vilagazi, and thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me. We do entertainment, commentary, reporting, reviews, and everything on this channel. Everything, okay. Well, not everything, okay? <laughs> so, but we do the most. Since I'm a all right? So, um, thank you so much for joining me. I'll be reviewing episode four of Living the Dream with Somi Easy. Um, it premieres, uh, premieres every Wednesday on Showmax, and it's a beautiful, um, so to say, season of this reality show, especially taking into account everything that Somizi has went through over the past years, past year especially, because he lost a lot of things, a lot of deals, and lost a husband. Uh, they are divorcing. Are they divorcing? Do people who are not married divorce? Because they're not married. Okay, it's a story. Okay. It's a story for another day though, okay? So, now, where we are, Sila Nake, Gulomba wa Wanam Sanje, Uguti, we saw today, if you have not watched, there was a party that Somis was hosting, invited about Judith, Judith, Judith Sapuma, uh, or invited about Kespa Vest, or invited about Peltusi, about Brinette, Nabo Ban Ban, you, you know, the who's and who's of the industry, but mostly his friends. That party opened my eyes to say, mm, Usomizi is now picking his circle right now. If you probably did not stand with him during that Mohale saga, you are out. All right, you are out. Okay, so now uh, that's what is happening. Uh, also, one thing that was highlighted because Usomizi was like, was picking people who have been divorced and most of these people are in the industry. And my worry, it's not my worry, it's not also about what they do, but it makes me concerned about celeb celebrity marriages and just the marriage and, and just the married marriages in general, you know. Because you know, the divorce culture is battling as long, it's rampant. Okay, I'm gonna Google that after that, but I think it's rampant. It's sparking, okay? And um I don't know, especially people who are in like in those relationships that where there's money and there's fame and there's power, you guys, they are going through the most. But Either way, just I'm happy, you know, I'm always happy when people divorce them. The, because rather than bebulalane and all that drama, rather divorce than killing one another. I think that's, it's, it's, it's actually the best way you can do it, okay, to move out of a, a union you're in, okay. So now, so in the party, they were speaking about cyberbullying. Casper was there talking about, you know, the fight that he had with Sil Silk Talk, okay. And they were saying he's rude to celebs um, and all that. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a fan of his work. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm don't know him that well. Aside from being a fan of his work, but I don't know him that well. Okay. So, um, so they were speaking about that. You know, now Casper had to stand up for himself and whatnot and whatnot. Okay. And so Mizzy was joking and said, you know, what, maybe Casper, me, um, and you, we have to go and go into in, in, into the ring and feast. You know, and feasting, fist. I mean, like feast, not feasting. So <laughs> that's what that's what Tommy was saying. But it was it was very funny the way he said it because considering, you know, that Tommy's has become synonymous with the word feasting. Okay, but I'm not there. Continue. Um, the show continues. We see Tommy's is now taking us into Skamo Hale. Eh, Usfaga Makalpotini. I guess is couriering them to Umohale. Well, um, and then they ask him, what can you say? He says, rest in peace. So it means Mohale is really dead in the eyes of uh, Somis. Now, my take is I'm just happy that they, they you know, as much as U U U Somis can, can call Mohale money heist, what, what, uh, but guys, I, I prefer someone who goes out of marriage through divorce because someone would have just poisoned him. And would have been entitled to the entire estate because we 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 read the stories, you know. But Mohale went out at least properly to say, you know what, maintain your peace, and because maybe some people would do drastic things out there, and we've seen those things I'm talking about. All right, now um, then Usomizi he flies to Cape Town with his family and his friends, friends and family. Now my issue is I saw a lot of people there, and it's nice when you're doing a reality show. Introduce us. This is who. This is who. This is who. This is who. This is that. Okay. You understand introduce us because now we only know about me the other people who are there i don't know them who are playing games just don't have to go in too much okay this is my cousin that's all because maybe if you're scared that we're gonna go to their instagram and search them just introduce us so that we have an idea who is this you know i don't want to say who's who in the no I'm not gonna go there so who's who here in the mix in the circle all right but either way 
I um, it was a very nice new Cape Town is so beautiful Cape Town is so beautiful Cape Town is so beautiful listen but I'm not there because um, you know um, now let's get into it um, a conversation that I liked mostly that they were they they had um, was Uba who is speaking about having a gay dad I thought that was very interesting because we always look at we all, we always think about Somizi ah Somizi has a child but we've never asked ourselves what happens and we always think about Balisa but we've never really wondered and asked ourselves what about having a dad who's flamboyant and whatnot and everyone knows that Somizi is gay so um the fact that she says it, it has never been like straight dad gay dad it's been like my dad I thought that was really profound um that was extremely profound okay so another interesting thing in the in the reality show that i liked was when somizi had a conversation with umam kize umam kize would be son mam kize uh, formerly known as son pisan so now somizi is saying he needs legal counsel with regards to his tax matters and also with regards to what do you call this thing uh, with regards to his uh divorce i say divorce because as i said i don't know if people who are who are not married can divorce okay um now but they are yeah it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's, it's a rebatable thing if they're married or not okay so um now mom is recommending um some lawyers to so and apparently more only one's 50 percent and so is saying hey not gay picon I think Mam is the best indeed as Somiza said is the best person to give an advice to Somiza because we know that Mam uh, apparently and allegedly I remember when we were growing up everyone knew that Mam married to her former husband and he was not in a very well well established position financially as her obviously she comes from a very uh, family that has great history in terms of money and you know being involved in making what South Africa is so but now also Mohali came in like that he was not so well you know financially I'm, I'm not sure i don't know his financial but he was i guess right now being married to some is exposed him to us and right now he's getting gigs and he's doing very well for himself so i guess mom kiza is a great well i can't wait to see what's going to happen next week on the show please stay tuned um keep watching every wednesday my take also on today's episode is they were sitting in the house there in cape town cape town is so beautiful and initially Maybe next week they're gonna go out because they can't just fly the crew there to Cape Town and they are gonna stay in the house. You could have done that in Joburg, okay? All right. So, but I'm not there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and also share it to others. Thank you so much and God bless you. Salute!